Hello and thank you for joining ASP Runner and PHP Runner tutorials. Today you will witness a step-by-step -step presentation of handling the many-to-many -many relationships using master detail functionality of the software. One-to-many relationships are very straightforward, can be set up with a few clicks and are described in the master detail relationships tutorial. However, many-to-many -many relationships are not as intuitive and will be a subject of today's discussion. Let's look at an example where we have multiple offices and employees. One employee can work at multiple offices and an office can have more than one employee. To handle this many-to-many -many relationship, the first step would be to break it into two one-to-many relationships, creating a new link table which combines the employees and the offices. Now we will have three tables, an employee table, an office table and an office employee link table. In the generated application, you can browse the offices, see which employees work at which office, as well as assign new and delete existing employees from any office. If you're assigning an employee that is already assigned to an office, the application will throw an error and you will have to select a different employee. Now let's set it up in the software. You will need to add all three tables to your project. Then you will need to set up the master detail relationship between the office and the office employee table using the ID and the office ID as link fields. Don't forget to display inline the child records on the list page. Even though we just started and only configured the master details, if we build our project now, we will see that some functionality is already there. Our application has three tables, each with its own core functions such as add, edit and delete. Although not user friendly just yet, you can already see the employee IDs assigned to a particular office. Even the inline add functionality is available in its basic form. Now we can build on what we already have making our application more user-friendly. The next step is to modify the Office Employee SQL query to pull the full name and the phone number from the employee table. The phone number will be visible when you assign the employee to an office. Then we will set the employee ID and the office ID as the key fields on the Choose Pages step. I will also enable Add, Inline Add and Delete Pages. On the Choose Fields screen, I will select an Employee ID and Phone Number fields to appear on the List and Inline Add pages. Now I will proceed to the Visual Editor tab and will set up Employee ID as the Lookup Wizard selecting the full name to be the display field. I will also enable other field of the phone number to be selected alongside the employee. Since we cannot actually save the phone number field in the office employee table as this field doesn't exist, I will exclude it from the insertion in the events editor under the before record edit event of the office employee table. I will do so by inserting the following code snippet. To prevent the user from assigning the same employee to an office twice, I will insert the validation code to the same before record edit event, which will throw an error in case of a duplicate. Now my project is ready to be built and you should have a better idea of how to handle the many-to-many -many relationships. 